Welcome to our best bits of 2021. Um, now, it was quite a year, wasn't it? Can you believe that it's been a whole nother year since we were here last year? Doing our best bits of 2020. <laughs> the year has absolutely flown by this past year. It started off with us in a lockdown because we were homeschooling. Yep. And we decided that sod the homes homeschooling, we would make magic videos. So we made our magic den video, which we're not very good at. Was... I thought it was quite good though. <laughs> it was we my tried. first. It was my first foray into editing, a yeah. bit of funky yeah. editing. So. So you can have a look at it here if you would like to. Um, and then we all quite kind of came out of lockdown, yeah. and we were on the telly. I know that was really exciting seeing our episode of my unique BNB that we were making over the dome and to actually see the finished article after putting in all that time and effort was actually quite good. Yeah, because it all got filmed in 2020, but then it got aired in March this year, yeah. 2021, and um, yeah, it was that was quite exciting to actually see us on the on the real telly. Oh, I know lots of you said to us that you've watched our channel on an actual telly, but I can't get my head around that at all. Being on the BBC now, that was. That was Quite something exactly. special. Yeah. So then in March, we won an award. I know, can you believe? That was so awesome to actually finally be recognised and to win an actual award was quite something. So it was the Bristol Bath and Somerset Tourism Awards and we entered and then we found out we were finalists and then we went to the Glittering Awards Ceremony on Zoom, which was <laughs> so 2021. Oh, yeah. um, and we won this beautiful silver award for uh, best glamping business basically. Well, we came um, second. Yeah, silver, yeah. So um, the lovely Esme's Escapes, who have a beautiful shepherd's hut, um, won gold and we won silver. Um, so we were very, very excited about that. And then what happened next? Well, uh, we started building our class dome. Yes, we started a big dome build, which was... It was good fun. Yeah, it was really stressful because I'd taken bookings from April, from Easter, and I shouldn't have taken bookings, and I've learnt for, for this year, coming up 2022, I'm not taking any bookings until I know it's definitely going to be done. In fact, I've only opened bookings from June, so hopefully we should be okay. We should be done by then. I'm hoping that we'll be done from the 1st of May. Yeah, that's the goal. Uh, and that's yeah. when it's going to have to be done. Yeah. But as you say, you work better under pressure, don't you? I do work much better under pressure. Um, so, yes, yeah, so we've got that. We had that dome build, that was our big, we learned so much how to put a off-grid bathroom in, how to put all the solar in, how to um, like do the outdoor bath and build Boiler a much bigger, and yeah, so that was, we learned so much on that. But yeah, and a big shout out to Rachel and Dave for coming and helping us for the oh, weekend prior. We, we We've have never done. done it without you guys, so thank you very much. So in amongst all that, we were also changing the yurt bases because that's true. We'd obviously they get exposed over the winter. The ply gets wrecked. So uh, yeah, we had a look online, and you came up with eco ply, eco -ply yeah, which, which is, is plastic ply basically. Yeah, so far it seems to be weathering outside. We've had a, a chap who um, found our video actually and has asked us all about how that's working for his yurt base. So hopefully it's getting the message out there that there are options to shipping ply from China. I know, I couldn't um, believe it when I found out our ply that we were using in the UK was coming over from China. Isn't that just I know. bonkers? So it's much better. This is like a company in Wales that make use all this recycled plastic and make it yeah. into into sheet supply. So I think it's so much better than it going so into landfill. Better. So that's what we're hoping to use for the base for the next dome as yeah. well, so we'll keep you posted on that. We also did our professional photos and we had a professional video made, so no, that, that was, was good. That was quite fun. Yeah. Did you actually see what was in our heads and taking the, the, the viewers through a journey of what they would expect when they arrived? Yeah. And all about the relaxation. And the kids running wild and just being kids. Yeah, I so really that liked was good. how it turned out. I was so pleased. Um, so Brian has started his own Instagram, Glamping Brian, if you want to follow him, um, just to try and have a battle with me because I'm really rubbish at posting on our Tracks and Cream Instagram and he keeps saying, if you post every day, you'll get more followers, blah, 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 blah. And so he's like, I'm going to prove it. I'm going to start my own Instagram and I'm going to beat you. So what are we on now, Brian? How many have you got? I think we're on 62, 62 followers. 62 followers. But, but that's only in like a month, okay? Yeah, he's doing better than me, to be fair. What else happened in 2021? Well, we had a really good season, didn't we? Yeah, we had a really good season. Uh, and I think part of that was helped by the pandemic, obviously. I know a lot of people had bad pandemic experiences. I think for us it was quite good because a lot of people staycationed last yeah, year. Yeah, we were so busy last oh, year. Uh, and so for us, we were run ragged. 
but it was really good because I think everybody was just so grateful to be able to go away on a short break. Yeah, and it's all outdoors, you feel safe, you've got your own private bathroom, so it's like, it's not like you're sharing with anybody. Yeah, definitely. So, yes, yeah, so that was really good. I mean, we did have a couple of disasters in that, well, the marquee blew over to start with. Yeah, the marquee got totally destroyed, a really bad storm came, yeah. whooped it out the ground, and we came back to it all bent and crumpled in a pile. But... That has led to us now buying a much bigger dome, which yeah. is going to be the 10 meter vent dome. And we can put cool lighting in it, we can put directional sound in it, and we can make it really awesome. Yeah, I'm really excited about that. Yeah. And I'm going to have my 40th birthday in October in the dome. That's my plan. It's yeah, be that should be good. Beautiful by then. Uh, and I think the vision that we've got for it will be quite good because we're going to be able to build banks all around it and then actually sink the dome in the centre of it. So it's kind of hidden away. And, and I think it'll be quite nice as a reveal as you're walking up the, the lane towards it and then suddenly you see the white top of the dome peeping out and then you step through and then you see the whole dome in its glory. It's massive, it's not just going to be peeping out. <laughs> it's massive, you're going to be able to see it. You think so? Yeah. But no, that should be good fun to build. Yeah, but back to the disasters. Yeah. We also had uh, the kite get stuck in the power lines. Yeah, that wasn't so good. That was we so were... stressful. <laughs> the power to our village was cut off for, I think, about two and a half hours as they had to come. The, the power people. Died. <laughs> yeah, and they had to climb up and then basically earth all the power lines and then take the kite down and then turn all the power back on. So yeah, I think our name was Mud for a while. Yeah, that was bad. And yeah, we had to, people get stuck in the mud, we had to turn them out with a the tractor. Yeah, but, but that's the problem down the bottom of that field. I don't know what it is, even in the height of summer, when the whole field is bone dry, that patch is still soaking wet. Yeah. So much so that we're thinking that actually we might put a pond in there this year. I think that is the perfect place for a wildlife pond. I definitely think it would be. Yes, yeah, so we've got some quite exciting plans for 2022. Yeah, I'm um, looking forward to it. Although I'm not quite sure how I'm going to fit this all in around my day job. So after we'd had our season, we then got to do some amazing visiting of different glamping places. Um, oh, do you remember going staying at Dartmoor Domes? Yeah, we had an amazing time at that Dartmoor was just Domes. Awesome. So Dartmoor Domes. I don't know if you've been there but you kind of walk along and then you drop down into like a little valley. There's a stream running there and they got geodesic domes down in this valley. So beautiful. I yeah, thought. we really and enjoyed Really it. well done. Like Brian is not a glamper. No. Or a camper. Or no, I don't know like he's, a, he's a hotel cottage type man, oh. but he was converted, I think, finally into glamping. Um, so yes, we had a lovely stay, thank you. Um, and then we got to go and visit our friend Kate with her igloo. That, oh, that was, was awesome. Amazing, yeah. So, um, and Camilla and Leon starting their glamping site. We're That's hoping to like easy. follow up and see how they get on with their shepherds hats and oh, stuff definitely. like that. So, um, 100%, if you've got any way that you, we could come and visit, we're totally up for Like, we don't charge or anything. We no, just, we, we just like make a video. going and um, meeting the people and filming. Yeah, so we're totally up for coming to anybody's glamping site and just having a look and filming and promoting your site as well. So anything always, we can yeah. do, because... We know the struggle of... But, but also we just enjoy doing it. Yeah. Meeting the people, seeing the site. Talking it, about glamping. Yeah. So that's where we want to also take the business for 2022, 2023 is is kind of showing also you guys what options of glamping there is out there. And if we can go, like obviously we've just got domes and yurts, but if we can go and see shepherd's huts and igloos and um, safari tents yeah. and whatever else there is, then you guys get an understanding of what different um, structures, structures there, are. there are for your glamping site, if that's what you're up to. No, definitely. So yeah, so as many of you might know, I think it was 2020 during the first lockdown, we built an A-frame, which was gonna become my home office. How far have we got with that A-frame? <laughs> so, in our, well, sat here a whole year ago, we said, you heard it here first, folks. In fact, I'm going to show you the clip. So, interior, you heard it here first. We, we're going to get it done. Oh, we hope so. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> we have got to do the A, finish the A-frame this year, and the whole year has gone, and we haven't even been in this sodding thing, have we? No, I just don't know what's happened. This year has absolutely flown by, and there's been so much other stuff going on yeah. that... To just build that, just we haven't had the time or the opportunity really it feels like. Yeah. Because that's another exciting thing. We hopefully will start building an extension on our house. Oh yeah, that's gonna take a lot of time. So too. that's gonna take a lot of our time. We've just put in for planning permission, we haven't got it yet, but we're hoping to get planning permission for an extension which will involve um sort of taking the office 
space and giving me a catering kitchen and a proper laundry room. That would be so exciting. And an, and an office. Yeah, that'd be very um, useful. And then sort of sorting out our kitchen and giving us an extra bedroom. It's going to be a massive project. Yeah, it is a massive project. Um, so Along with the glamping in the height of summer. I know, and it'll all happen at the same time. <laughs> so, I don't know. If we make it to this time next year and I'm making a video about the highlights of 2022... <laughs> we are doing well. I will look about 10 years older. Well, I'll be 40 by then, so, you know, okay, I you will are pushing. go haggard. <laughs> <laughs> um, and, yeah, I, we'd be surprised if we still look the spring chickens that we look now. <laughs> So yeah, so that is our roundup of 2021. We hope you enjoyed it, and I know we've enjoyed being there, yeah, and meeting all the guests that have come to come and stay and be yeah. part of our adventures here at Tractors and Cream. And we would love to hear from you, and we would love you to subscribe to the channel if you haven't. I know most of you haven't. Please think about it if you haven't, um, and hopefully we will keep you up to date with everything that happens. So starting from tomorrow, we will start filming the. We're calling a Fent Dome. Yeah. I thought you were going with Mahindra. No, I scrapped that idea. Because I thought you said Mahindra sounded Moroccan. We well, thought it was Indian and then we are. So, no. So, let's go with Fent because that's been in your head. So, we'll go Fent Dome. So, we're starting the bale build of Fent Dome yeah. on. And I Monday. think we're doing the base slightly different this time, aren't we? Yes. Normally, we level the blocks, whereas this time we've decided that we leave the blocks. We're doing it the American way. I feel like it's the American way because that's what I really see on YouTube in America. Where, where they put like the little uprights and then put yeah. your cross brace and... We'll try it. We'll try if it. If you've got a video that you've made done of any of this sort of jazz of building a base, then, then That'd be hit us up because we'd like to know. <laughs> oh, that's where we go for YouTube later, how to build. Yeah. So thank you. Thank you so much for your support in 2021. And we will see you on our next video.